Hello, I'm Natalie Dupree here for PostandCourier.com and we're going to have a wonderful chicken and dumplings soup. A chicken soup is really, particularly for dumplings, is just whatever you want it to be. Here I have a cup of chicken or it could be turkey, anything that you happen to have in the freezer or that you used for a pre-roasted chicken and just dump it into four or five cups of chicken broth in there. You can make the pieces a little bit smaller if you'd like, just to get them to bite size. You know your family. This is a family meal. And then just add what you have around the house. You can add maybe some frozen peas or frozen peas and carrots or a melange of Italian vegetables, whatever you've got. And here I've got some zucchini, I've got some roasted carrots, I've got some roasted tomatoes, and you just add it till you think it's got a nice balance in there. And you bring it up to the boil and let it boil. And then at any point, if you want to, you can go ahead and add some cream, about a half a cup of whipping cream. If you want your soup thicker, Go ahead and melt little, um, a little uh, butter, maybe a couple tablespoons of butter, maybe three or four, and some flour in the pan and then thicken it up. Or you could mix that cream with some flour and then add it at the end if you wanted it to be thicker. It's really up to you as to how thick you want it to be. Now I'm going to make the dumplings, and the dumplings are really very special. The first thing that we want to do is to get about two and a half cups of flour in the bowl and I use, oh, uh, usually use a southern flour and about three-fourths of a cup of chilled shortening and big pieces like that. And you want to snap it in, you know, kind of snap it like you would be snapping your fingers as you go all the way around. This is the way you should do with the biscuit too. Just kind of snap it so that you're getting it in, combined in there. And then make a well in the center and go ahead and stir in using kind of a circular motion, stir the flour into buttermilk and we're using three quarters of a cup of buttermilk and it just depends on you as to how wet you want this dough. I'm going to take what's right here in the middle and add it into the dough to, to kind of test it to see how I like it. So this is now getting hot and it, I'm going to pop it in there and see if it breaks apart and it comes right to the top. I don't know if you can see it or not. So that looks like it's going to be a nice dumpling. And you can make them as large as you want to or as small as you want to. So go ahead and add as many dumplings as you'd like and let it come up to the boil. As they get cooked, you can see they'll turn. But if they don't want to turn, that means that they don't think they're done enough. So you see, they're just bulking. And that will, there, but there's one that did turn. Some of the smaller ones are turning right now. So there you are. It's absolutely delicious. Before you serve it, taste it. And add salt and pepper and maybe some herbs. But in the meantime, you have a wonderful chicken and dumpling dish right from your pantry. Don't buy a thing. I'm Natalie Dupree, here for postandcourier.com.